third part is the document entry under accounts receivable so let's see this same path accounting and accounts receivable document entry or you can use t code fb70 or you can use t code fb70 or fb f-22 so just go to this uh, select your customer I am taking suppose this Henry this is my customer range number and select the invoice date I am taking the same as posting date you can take different invoice date in real time it is actually different so I have sold a certain amount of goods to this customer okay so this is my sales so here you will have to select your sales or revenue account so this is my sales account and sales account is cre uh, credited so it is already credited here mention the amount uh, say 27k enter these are the details of this customer Henry Arvin address now simulate this see these, uh, this is the posting key everything is right ok so I can post this and this document saved and this document number has been generated for this company code now to check this display here it is and general ledger view entry view now ok so let me show you this part this must be created as an open item so go back and go to this account and check here display change line items and select this open item mention the I forgot the customer account so leave this space blank here is the entry entry Harvin and I have a sold 27k goods to this customer Henry Harvin so this symbol denotes due date okay so this has been overdue okay so it is showing open item now how to clear this item okay when I will clear this item here green mark will be shown so just go back make the payment or this can be set off against the credit memo suppose uh, I have sold goods to Henry Harvin and there, there is some, some fault in those goods and they have returned it so it can be set off like this and uh, I have simply received the payment story finish I have sold goods to Henry Harvin and they have paid me the amount after few days <coughs> for this document entry and incoming payments mention the document date it would be different in real time ok yes. account here you will have to mention the details where you will receive the payment that bank account so ch I am choosing this one it must be correct enter amount 27 Okay, you have here you have to select the account from which customer you are getting the payment so I am receiving payment from this customer Henry and uh, leave all the columns blank 
accept this value and this you need to enter the value date as I already told you now enter okay so now you will have to double click this here you will have to nullify the balance it should be zero only then payment will be cleared so you have selected this double click on this and then save it from here payment has been made now we will see again and check go to account and display select this cleared items and uh, execute so payment of 27k so this is not the one yes here it is showing 27k payment henry harvin now it is blue marked green marked sorry go back select all actually execute <clears throat> See, this item is still open and these are the cleared one open item and these are the clear 27k payment I have received DR is for customer invoice and DZ is for payment and clearing document number will be generated here after the document is cleared so this was the part of document entry under accounts receivable so this was about the last class uh, i hope it will help you in understanding these concepts more clearly thank you